Hi, what up, world? Glad to see you again. It's the Can't Focus Podcast. Back at it with another reaction video. Let us know in the comments below if you're, you're actually, you know, enjoying these reaction videos. We've been having a good time also, making them. Also, drop yeah. suggestions for things you want yes. us, us to react to. We have an Instagram at Can't Focus Pod. You could send YouTube videos for us to react. Always down yeah. for ideas. A hundred percent. We take all ideas. So, um... Recently, Dave Chappelle said something about Cat Williams in his uh, most re recent comedy special on Club Shay Shay. So, uh, Cat, Williams, Cat Williams said something about Dave. Cat Williams said something about Dave, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, so, we're going to uh, share screen. I don't. And I, don't, I don't actually, to be honest with you, I don't remember Cat mentioning Dave at all. So, I don't know why Dave is responding. Uh, but this is a reaction from Dave Chappelle, a recent reaction about Cat Williams' interview on Club Station. Okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I did say it right. You bugging. All right. My so <laughs> we're going to watch this together. Uh, it's our dyslexic. first time. So <laughs> it's our first time watching it. Uh, and hopefully uh, we could. Um, it'll be some of y'all first time watching it too. So let's get to it. Let's share screen here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Let's see what let's see what he said. All right. And not any white ones. You only eat the niggas. You didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. They hurt people, hurt people, but I'm a hurt person. They never hurt people. Cat was talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas, but not about anything that niggas did to him. In addition to that, Chappelle would disagree with D-Ray's opinion on Cat's interview being good for comedy. D-Ray, maybe there's more. I know there's more that he said. Maybe we could, uh, you could fast forward. I don't know. Uh, but but how do we get? How do we feel about that? Uh, but he just Honestly, said, I couldn't hear much of what he again. said. Chappelle disagreed. Oh, it must so, have been, all right. I'm so he said, saying what I'm saying. "Yeah, go ahead." Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't remember Cat Williams throwing shade at Dave at all. So I don't know. Maybe he's just mad at the fact that he did it. He's he's mad at the fact that he's like tearing down everybody else. Maybe that's what he's mad about. And that's, that sounds like something, something Dave would be mad about. So, well, I did, before I saw the video, I did read he said somewhere that Cat Williams is one of the greatest painters in comedy, like they could paint the picture with comedy. And he's like, why is Cat painting an ugly one of everyone? You know? I did, I did read somewhere that he said that. I don't know if that's true that he said that, but I read that. Um, he is. He's clearly a little upset with, with some of the things that Cat said. You know? um, yeah, it sounds like he's clearly upset. Um, I don't know at which part, and it doesn't sound like he. Well, maybe he just specifically said say something about. He said he said something about white people or white boy or something like that. Um, so maybe he's well, talking I mean, about that that white comedian. But I, I just I, I have no idea. Exactly no, Cat what didn't have that he's agitated about. Cat didn't have no smoke for white people in the whole in the whole thing. It, it was all black people he had smoke for. He wasn't he wasn't banging on nobody mm. that was white. Mm, okay, yeah. so that's that's probably what it is. Although yeah, he, he did say something about the about about one white guy, but I guess it wasn't that bad. Who? What he said about who? He talked uh, about Gary Owen, and he said something good about Gary Owen. Yeah, it was Gary. Owen. Yeah, that he he wasn't accepted back by white people or something like that. Yeah, he, he the only white person he's just saying crazy about was Weinstein. And I don't believe that right. story. That was a wild that story. Is... I think I think he was lying personally. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what a what a story if that's so if that's real. But yeah, yeah, I mean he's got a point. If that is what, yo, I couldn't make out what he was saying, dude. Like, I, yeah, he was. was I, I heard uh, he, he he didn't eat the no white people or something like that. He was only eating black people. Uh, he was like hurt people, uh, hurt people. Right. You know. Yeah, like I mean, that. I mean, here's the thing, though. I mean, you could be mad about that. You could be mad that he spent three hours doing that. Yeah, 
Absolutely. And you know, and the only thing he other the only other thing Cat Williams really said in regards to white people is that he is a pro black non racist. You know what I mean? He loves all people, you know. Look, not to make it about not to make it about the Cat Williams interview. I will say this though. I, I look, I understand his beef with Cedric and Steve, right? Jokes were stolen. Uh Mark Curry's his dude, so he's gonna ride for his yeah. dude. I get that. I get his little beef with Ricky Smiley because Ricky Smiley kind of lied on a part. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. After that, it felt like he was just shooting at everybody. Oh, and, and his beef with Wanda. I don't I don't I forget her last name, but the comedian who uh the, the radio host whose husband yeah. tried to shoot him later in the day after they roasted each other. Yeah. Right. Uh I get that beef. Those beefs I get. But now when you come out for Kevin and you're talking about Tiffany, you got beef with Kevin Hart. You so let's do a list. It's Cedric. It's Steve Harvey. It's Kevin Hart. It's Tiffany Haddish. It's Ali Sadiq. It's uh, Ricky Smiley. It's ludicrous. It's yeah. uh, phase. I don't even like phase on love. It's phase on love. You got beef with the whole world, dog. At some point, like maybe you do things. Maybe you do things. But here's the thing. I here's the thing. Again, I'm gonna go back to this because though Dave Chappelle is right. You could, you know, he went for three hours. He went like ether in black people. Yes. And it's like, why are you coming at your own people? A hundred percent. But at the same time, at the same time, just because he's right about that doesn't necessarily mean that Cat Williams is wrong. Now, do no, I believe you know what everything that mean? he said? You know what it does that? mean? We get to infer, okay, so you have nothing bad to say about the white people? So only black people did you wrong? Right. No, you, you're right. You're absolutely right. He, but another thing I go back to is that, yo, I'm hearing no refuting still. I'm still not hearing because refuting of these things. Because some of the things he things. said was ridiculous. You really think the Illuminati sat him and Ludacris down? And they was like, when are y'all got to like, <laughs> cut your hair? And then you get Fast and Furious contracts? Yeah, yeah I don't that, know. That was kind of wild. That one was kind of wild. What you mean? I, I don't know. Again, no, I'm saying I don't have the information. But my point is You that, feel like that's likely? You feel like that happened. If that's you're talking Trump, about... That's why Trump no. won't win again. No, 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 no. If you, do, hold up, hold up. Do you believe in the Illuminati? Do I believe in a group of people that... that uh, what's the Illuminati to you? Because, first of all, if the Illuminati existed, they wouldn't care about Hollywood like as much as people think. I think that's debatable. I think that's debatable. They, they'd be down for the banking system <clears> and <throat> international policy, and they'll be making prime ministers dance. You yeah, yeah, they the, could, you're, you're they could chew gum and walk at the same time. Something and uh, has something to do at least a small microcosm of, of, of what you just said or listed. No, I don't think 100%. The Illuminati, I don't think the Illuminati sitting down with Cat Williams and Ludacris and telling them one of the guys to get rid of it. Here's money. the thing I mean, entertainment and Ludacris, but maybe, but maybe uh, Jay Z or something. Entertainment like is a great distraction, yeah, and the billionaires, yeah, you're right, Kyle, yeah. Like, but, but the thing is, the, the, oh, the thing he also is that, said that I don't know what I, it was hard to find the clip, but he also did say that I saw that on Twitter too. That uh, Dave Chappelle said, I'm beefing with the Illuminati too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, but I just so think that, that, um, that, that, that he did say within a lot of fluff and craziness, there's still he, there was some truth. And I feel like that's a that's a master, masterful storyteller, a painter. Like like uh, he did Nathan say, was saying. he did he say in that interview in the the truth within the lies. So now we're all like, yo, is what he's saying true? Like so he did say in that interview, true? his job is to make us laugh. He did say that in that interview. Yeah. So, yeah. so maybe there's certain things that we shouldn't be taking too much to heart. Who knows? But but what I do know is. Uh, 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 Cat Williams, Cat Williams was right with with a lot of what he said, and there's some things that are that needs to be debatable, that needs to be put up on the on the chopping block, like really. So wait, y'all Lucas. believe y'all believe in Illuminati? I think that there is an overarching cabal type figure, you know, that has more power. Uh, not just in this country, but in the world, and influences a lot of things. I definitely believe. Here's what yeah. I think. I think money rules. I think money rules this world, and I think 
the, the more money you got, the more money you have, um, you can influence. You can influence quite a few number of people, and also um, that few number of people could be leaders of, of countries, leaders of, of nations, and yeah. um, and that could it, that you could you could be doing deals with those people um, to create things that could that could better your pockets um, and better theirs and, and things of that nature. So I don't know if it's Illuminati, but I do know, I do know what makes the world go round. and I'm not stupid. It's, it's definitely money. And to Kyle's point, I, I, uh, I have heard about the fact that apparently Elon Musk, for example, has a lot of influence in our government has certain high ranking members, phone numbers and stuff like that. You so know, look, check this out. Like, like for instance, well, I'm sorry to cut you. Like, ahead, they talk ahead. about how, like, when Trump first was running for president, they talked about how, oh, how Trump is a good businessman, and that, and that's what we need for our country: somebody who is a good businessman. And it's not just, but I, I felt like they were saying that not just because he knows how to allocate funds and know how to do this and the third. Because I mean, history has it; he's not really that good of a businessman. Right. But I feel like it's because he has the the man has money. Like even even when even when he's tax evasion and him having to give money for this, that, and the third, he still has a wellspring of money left over. So it's kind of like, yo, who is gonna take that resource? Who's gonna utilize that resource? And I feel like, and I I'm not saying that I, I'm not going as far as to say like he paid his way to get the presidency because um, he could have done it twice if that was the case, and he didn't. But I also feel like money is 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 the root of um, is the root of all kinds of evil. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I just don't. I just can't hold it past hold it past that. Uh, that if there is a cabal of people, they got to be billionaires, trillionaires, people who got mad money like that. And I'm mad that we are. I, I think the Illuminati on this podcast, and we're like. Let's give this away. <laughs> I think I think the Illuminati uh is the boogeyman. Like it's it's nice. You get to see it. Like when you're kids, you need a boogeyman, right? You need uh you need somebody that you need Santa Claus in some cases is the boogeyman for kids a little bit. Like he's if you're not nice, you ain't getting no gifts. You gotta be nice. You get the mm-hmm. gifts if you're nice, right? So when we move away from imaginary stuff, I do think that Illuminati is the boogeyman. You want me to sit there and believe. I got to take, I got I to gotta suspend disbelief on a couple things. You want me to believe that, because this is, this is statistical fact. Most people who are successful and have billions of dollars and million, multi-billions of dollars have sociopathic and psychopathic ambitious personalities. You want me to think that all these people take their personal ambitions to the side, meet every so often, and come together and, and, and design these wars together and these outcomes and these pandemics and these outbreaks <clears throat> together? Nah, it ain't happening. You can't you you can't even get the bloods of Crips to United Jail. No. All right. Now, I'm gonna, I'm hold gonna... up. The only way I believe, there's only one way I'll ever believe that the Illuminati is real. And this if there's some spiritual aspect to it. Like if they all worship like this this deity, whether it's like God or it's like satanic, and they get down and they and there's yielding results. And let's say, right, you know, let's say, right. let's say, you know, let's say the devil is real. And if you sacrifice babies and he makes you rich, then I, right, then they all experience that together. Then maybe it, maybe in that case, but no, I don't believe that it would take something extraordinary and paranormal for me to believe in Illuminati. All right. So let's start to la- land the plane here. Final thoughts, gentlemen, uh, is Dave Chappelle, um, um, <laughs> Adeline, <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chappelle, who, 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 who was talking about him? <laughs> we were talking about Illuminati. <laughs> it's funny because while we're doing this, I'm thinking, what are we titling this? Is the Illuminati real? Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams? <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, and the Illuminati. And the Illuminati. Uh, um, back to Dave Chappelle. Okay. Yeah. My Personally, final, my, oh, I, I just, just to throw it out there, I think Dave is right, but I also, it doesn't negate everything that Kat said. And what Kat said has been very, has been more so supported than actually refuted. 
and I've been waiting for the refutes. So that's what I'm saying. Um, my thought process is I have no idea what he said. <laughs> um, and it sounds like sounds like you said a lot, and I wish I heard it all. But I love I love Dave. I, 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 feel, like, I feel like I feel like he's very intelligent. I feel like when we talk about Cat Williams, it's really hard for him to find his match. Like if you like, I love Kevin. I think Kevin is an incredible comic. I do not think Kevin is as funny as Cat Williams. I right. think he's way more successful. But I, but I do like when you get a Dave Chappelle in the ring or Chris Rock in the ring because it's like, oh, Cat, these guys are just as funny, if not funnier than you. So we could get funny. And, and if they go back and forth, which I'm hoping they do, we could get funny. You know what I'm saying? And if Cat Williams has a right to express himself and to opinions, so does Dave Chappelle. And look, also, you know, you, Dave has trouble forgiving trans Russians. So, like, you know, <laughs> you know, you gotta take that into account. And with that being said, this is the cat focus podcast. I had to take a breath. <laughs> that was one word. Transgressions. Um, <laughs> it's your boy, Greg. I can know music. It's your boy mm-hmm. alive at Alive Raps. I'm so glad you didn't mention the pots and pans. <laughs> wow. Um, this is Martin Hopeful. You can find me at Martin Hopeful. I don't even know what that means. And, one of, <laughs> and once again, this is the Camp Focus Podcast. Please follow us on Camp Focus Pod. Don't forget to, you know, drop a drop a comment, a like. Share, subscribe, subscribe, tap the um, bell hit notification. That, hit that notification bell. And I want to thank Do you for all taking the, the time to focus on us. Peace. Peace.